the great preparation for mission has to be the understanding of the significance of the death and resurrection of Jesus, not just in terms of historically, although that's really important, but also in terms of us personally. So to look at people that had an encounter with the risen Jesus seems to me to be, be really important. We often tell the story about Peter being turned around as he walked along the shore with Jesus and we look at how Mary was there with Jesus at the empty tomb and yet it's to try and focus on the risen Jesus rather than just on the disciple. To have that kind of understanding that the risen Jesus wants to meet us in the same way today seems to be to be absolutely the best way to use that period. In some ways, I just think we do great build up for Christmas and a great build up for Easter. And I really think we need to do a great build up for Pentecost as well, focusing in on the resurrection and the reality of what that resurrection can mean for each one of us. A couple of years ago, I wrote a book which actually looks at each of these resurrection appearances and sets them in a little bit of context so you get an understanding of what was going on uh, at the Last Supper. And then we move on through the whole event of the Easter story, but then we moved to all of the resurrection appearances and it was just great writing this book because I, I just got a real sense as I was writing it of the reality of these relationships that were very sometimes just very brief encounters but transformative encounters. And uh, I've, I've put that together and we put it together in a way that we are presenting uh, uh, some studies that can be looked at. We've now recorded some really great videos that can be used as discussion starters in small groups. And we really want this to be taken up because I just think it's so important that the church understands this period. And I think this is a great way to build up to Pentecost. There are places that we come across in the present that make us think about the past. We wonder about what historical facts are related to them. But there's no greater historical fact having an impact on the present than the death and resurrection of Jesus. So Jesus, before the church was birthed, bringing them out to this mountain and giving them a global vision that the gospel was to go into all the world. I'd like to think about that for a moment because it really shows us the heart of Jesus. You have Peter in this room where he's got so much turmoil going on in the inside of him. Am I ready? Am I not? And then in the midst of this, Jesus just comes. God is not going to revoke our calling and take away our gifting. It's his heart instead to add to that which he gives us. The resurrection is not just to be there as a historical fact in the past. It's to impact the present because it's impacting our lives. Because I live. You will live also. Thank you.